All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash, to all honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, all right, here's this article. Um, I'm sure brothers have already done videos on this, but uh, I was posted earlier today. All right, this is uh, abc.net, not AU. Okay, and it says uh, <clears throat> YouTube removes 58 million videos featuring hateful or inappropriate content all right and <clears throat> this is all going into the feminine word okay because youtube which is a big avenue all right in which you know uh, we do our videos and push it out and that's how a lot of people are uh, uh are the elect are waking up okay even when we do these live streams people from all over the world are able to watch it all right and get edified and ask questions if, if need be okay but <clears throat> here it is, they're going under the guise of hateful and inappropriate content to try and try and attack the truth. You know, and there's a part in there where they'll say it. It says, um, YouTube was once seen as a safe space, free from government regulation and censorship. But the dark side of the of the sharing platform has been laid bare in a report that reveals that in the past three months it has had to remove 58 million videos that were posting posting hateful or inappropriate content, and really, <clears throat> like I said, it's just the guys. What they, these elites are scared of the truth coming out. That's why they're targeting the truth, but they're going under the guise of hateful and all these different things. But understand, it's gonna come to the point where they're just gonna completely shut it down. They doing test runs, all right? They 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 did shut down YouTube for a good couple of hours, all right. So there's going to come a point, Revelation 12, 12. <clears throat> um, get that real quick. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, but he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See, and part of that wrath is also going to be this, this famine of the word, right? Stopping us from from bringing up this truth, all right, which ultimately is the most high. But Esau is gonna do his best to stop the truth from coming out, because he's gonna be like, look, too many people are, <clears throat> too many people are waking up, all right, and his his secrecy and his tactics aren't working anymore. Okay, so it says, um, uh, Catherine Archer, a lecturer at Murdoch University who specializes in social media said it is the tip of the iceberg i guess it started to admit the problem um but the whole point of youtube was being able to upload a video without being a professional she said the so these social media platforms are more and more having to realize how hard it is to control the content on their channels <clears throat> and that's why ultimately they're they, they're mad and upset that they created this this internet because it was really created for this truth to be pushed out all right and them them realizing that now is it's it's um uh, it's hurting them because they're like yo, this is bringing like the how should I said the word shall go out through the the four corners of the earth through the ends of the world all right and then shall the end come. And these devils are seeing that seeing buzz waking up all around the world and only growing growing more and more and more, you know, <clears throat> and that's why they're scared and that's why ultimately they're gonna stop us from going out there and they're gonna stop these videos from coming out. They're just gonna shut it down completely. Because they're like, look, you know, with this secret stuff, the cat's out the bag, just, just shut it down. Okay. <clears throat> Says YouTube said the, the videos removed mainly had inappropriate adult content or spam, but it did not offer much insight into how it is managing the large amount of hateful or conspiratory videos. You know, and that's what they consider our videos. Hate speech, conspiracies. Here it is. We talk about. The, 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 the payback that the Lord is going to bring, all right, mainly upon these Edomites started first and these other heathens, but that's hateful. But what they did to us, all right, during slavery and all that, that's not hateful. All right, conspiratory videos, we're telling them about the truth, all right, and the, the wickedness of these elites, and they, they're calling us conspiracy theories. So they can easily categorize our videos under these two categories, a spokeswoman said the company owned by Google is confident a new algorithm will work to stamp out inappropriate content. See? And they've been doing that. Certain keywords, certain things typed, 
you know they have a profile on everybody <clears throat> we've always used a mix <coughs> it's a lot here we've always used a mix of human reviewers and technology to address address violate violative content on our platform and in 2017 we started applying more advanced machine learning technology to flag content for review by our team she said this combination of smart detection technology and highly trained human re uh, reviewers has enabled us to consistently enforce our policies with increasing speed. Then it's going to get to the point where you try to upload a video, it gets taken out right then. You try to upload a video, it doesn't get uploaded. You know? And we've seen the signs of it. So it says, but freelance writer Still Gurian said, the mere size of YouTube makes it virtually impossible to capture every hateful video or abusive content. So what do they have to do? They have to just shut it down. He said, "Wow, or 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 do it in a way where it's difficult, you know. Like for example, it's it's being regulated. You need you need they might just you need you need a chip or you need a certain online ID card to be able to upload certain videos. Before it gets uploaded, it has to get reviewed, you know. And if it's if it's quote unquote hateful, it won't go up. You know all these different things." He said, "While the company maintains its technology to pick up such content, is becoming more sophisticated." So are the techniques of those who want to spread hatred or far-right uh, propaganda. It's becoming more difficult because the bad guys are getting better at disguising it, he said. <laughs> Where is it, man? If we look at the end, really, this is for the elites. They, they, they're the bad guys who, who are uh, uh, able to disguise it, you know, and deceive the world that they would. It says, what, even Satan transformed himself into an angel of light? <clears throat> It says, if we look at the political content, it used to be really obvious propaganda videos. ISIS used uh, to post its beheading videos, and they are reasonably easy easy to spot. Now, I don't know if the article continues, but I think yeah, that's the end of it right there. Okay. But, hey, this is this is the news, man. The famine of the word is coming. We see, and look, show me we're at the end, man, because it's not just one thing. All right, we see signs of the famine coming. We see signs of the, the, the RFID chip, the signs of war, okay? All these different prophecies, these big prophecies, we see the signs of them, man. They're brewing to take place at the at a set time. And that time is, is very, very close, man, okay? That time is very close. We're at the end, okay? We're at the end, and that's why it's good to, to keep an eye out and, and, and watch for these prophecies, man. So I, I ended with this preset, which, you know, we bring this out all the time. But, hey, <clears throat> that's how it sticks in your mind. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord power, Yahweh how shy, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water. However, there will be a famine of bread and thirst for water. But this specific famine is talking about what? But of hearing the words of the Lord. So these videos that we do, you know, us giving the knowledge, you know, that's that's going to be no more. The Lord is going to stop that. Now, we're still going to have the knowledge, right? But you're not going to have access to it. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Now, check this. What is going to make them do that? Because right now, they're not doing it. But when the famine comes, you know, one would think, well, if they didn't seek it when the word was there, why would they seek it when it's gone? Would they even notice? Yes. Why? Because the, let me, let me just real quick, I'll let the scripture speak, because they say it best. Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know a prophet hath been among them. See, so when all these prophecies come to pass, that's why they're going to, they're going to know, they're going to realize, and that's why they're going to run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. Because the, these, the, the chip, the calamities, the famines, the pestilence, all the things we prophesied of are going to be happening. So they're going to be seeking the prophets who prophesied of it. You know, that's why they're going to seek the word of the Lord. But, but hey, the Lord does everything in a timely fashion and for a reason. All right. So we're just doing as we're told, going with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord will and we get counted worthy as those uh, faithful servants. All right. The elect. Okay, but I hope this video is satisfying and edifying to the elect. Okay, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Until next time, Shalom.